All right, we're gonna take just a few minutes to practice with this fill in the blanks challenge. And you're gonna see problems like this in your homework and on the module quiz. So the instructions tell us to name the relationship. It could be a sum, a product, or a power. And then we're gonna identify the missing value to complete each t-chart. So I can see that I have an exponent, which means I have a power relationship. And this is where we're gonna put the base. This is where the exponent goes. And then this is the power right here. And I can see in this one that it's the power that I'm missing. So if I have a base of two and an exponent of five, so a base of two and an exponent of five, and that gives me 32 and that's my power or the fifth power of two is 32. Here I have one of the multiplication symbols, so that means I have a product relationship. And I can see I have the product itself because this is the equal sign, the product is 30. And then I have one factor of 10 and it's the other one that's missing. So I can use the inverse relationship of division to go, okay, 10 times what gives me 30 if I'm not sure, I can use the inverse and go 30 divided by 10 gives me three. I have a subtraction here and a difference is not one of the options. So I need to just choose the inverse relationship, which is gonna be a sum relationship. And the question is, what if I subtract 10 from it gives me 12? So the inverse of doing that would be 12 plus 10 gives me what? So it's the sum that I'm missing. And 10 plus 12 is 22. And that allows me to model this relationship that's being modeled right here, which is 22 minus 10 equals 12. And I was able to find that missing value right there. All right, we have another power relationship right here. And now it's the base that's missing. That's the thing I don't know. We have the exponent of three and the power 27. And so I can just try some different things. This is not very big. We already saw that the third power in the lecture, we saw that the third power of two is eight. So let's try and that does give us 27. So our base is going to be three. Our exponent is also three. Three times three is nine, times three again is 27. Here I have a division symbol, which means I'm looking at a product relationship. And I have to kind of be a little bit flexible in my thinking here. So the question is 16 divided by what gives me eight? And the inverse, the product of that, would be eight times what gives me 16? And I can use the inverse relationship to find what I'm missing because 16 divided by eight is two, which also means that 16 divided by two is eight, which is what's modeled right here. Okay, and then let's see, I have a missing exponent, so this is a power relationship. I have a base of four and a power of 64. And for this one, later on in the course, we'll have some more formal ways to use the calculator to figure this out, but we can just use our intuition right now. So this is just asking four multiplied by itself how many times is gonna give me 64. So the second power of four, that's only gonna give me 16, that's not big enough. The third power of four, that's gonna give me 64. So that's our exponent right here. All right, three more. 
All right, I have a multiplication symbol, which means I have a product relationship. I have the equal sign, so the product is 56, and I'm missing one of the factors and the other one is seven. So I can use the inverse relationship to say 56 divided by seven is eight. And then this one, we have a subtraction, which means we're looking at a sum relationship. And the thing that I'm missing is the amount that I'm trying to subtract. So the question is, 13 plus what is going to give me 25? And so I can use the inverse relationship and say 25 minus 13 is 12. And that allows us to show what's being modeled right here, which is 25 minus 12 equals 13. And then the last one, we have a division symbol, which means we're looking at a product relationship. And the question is, what, if I divide it into five equal groups, will give me 12 in each group? And that means that these are the factors right here, 5 and 12, and 5 times 12 is 60. And then I can see, now that I have the missing value, 60 divided by 5 is 12.